Hello, Allure. I'm Brooke Shields, and this is my 10-minute beauty routine. First thing I do on dry or wet hair is I take some Commence leave-in conditioner. I put a little dollop like that, the palm of my hand, rub them together so it's easily dispersed, and then I start pressing it into my hair. It does not weigh the hair down. It allows the actual hair to become moisturized. It protects your hair from the elements outside. It protects it from heat when I get my hair styled. And it just gives it a little body. If I need a little lift, what I do is I go to my Commence Instant Shampoo. This is a brilliant, smart product that is rice-based. We've reduced the hyaluronic acid to its smallest molecule that can be absorbed at the root by your scalp, and it becomes encapsulated in a rice powder. I spray it like this. I put a little too much there, but there is no such thing as too much. I do this um, not out of the shower, only on dry hair. I go through my scalp and I just kind of massage my scalp. Nobody thinks about the scalp as skin, but it's skin. Scalp health is the first thing to be considered with regards to the health of the whole hair from the root all the way to the tip. The rice powder will absorb the excess moisture. And then sometimes what I do is I just use it because I need it a little body and then it just kind of lifts. It gives me a little root, root lift. I like this brush because I can use it on wet or dry hair. I usually try to start from the bottom. I don't like to brush my hair too much, but this also feels good to do on your scalp. Sometimes I put the dry shampoo and then I just go like this because it feels so good. It's like those things that put on your head and make you feel like, ooh. I started Commence for Women Over 40 because that's what the community was asking for. Everybody had the same complaint about hair, that there weren't products out there that were specifically designed and formulated for women over 40. And when you are over 40, the actual hair follicle, the, the where the root is, actually shrinks. I love the areas where things on your body shrink and other areas where they don't shrink on your body at over 40 the injustice. Anyway, if you address the scalp health from the root out to the tip, you are creating the optimal environment for your hair to be in the growth phase. It's like beautiful, rich soil. You're gonna grow better crops. Sometimes I want a little bit of a wave and I try for a little bit of a beachy wave in my hair before I leave. This is the Harry Josh Wide Barrel Curling Iron, <laughs> which I just think is funny. And I keep it pointed down getting better at not burning my fingers. Then I try to leave the ends out and just leave it like that. And then sometimes I just pin it so that the end is out like this so it's a little beachy, but then I pin that and then move on to the next piece so that when I let it go, it all has a big a bit of a wave to it. There we go. See, it's just enough of a little wave. Now for the skin routine. This is a SPF, but it's also a bit of a tinted moisturizer. Then I put this thing, it's by Tan Lux. I discovered this when I was doing Mother of the Bride because they needed us to be evenly tan all the time. So I had to self tan sort of every third or fourth day. Dab a little bit of this into there. And then I mix it all into the foundation. Just put it like on my forehead. I always try to kind of do it under my eyes because sometimes I forget to do it under my eyes. Do this, I kind of make sure that I get all of it. And then I even have to do it on my ears because I forget my ears and my neck. Pat it all in. And then always wipe it off my hands because it will tan your palms, which is just a weird look. Go to just a little bit of highlighter. It's this stick, it's by 19.99. I usually just do a little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe sometimes down here, sometimes top of my lip. Sometimes I put a little bit here, just a little bit. But this is where I like it the most. It doesn't really show, but then in the in the light, it kind of just makes it look like you've got a little bit of a dewier, just a little bit of a highlighter. Never hurt anyone. This is La Neige. It's like a sleeping mask, but I use it every day. It comes with this cute little applicator. I put it on my finger. Okay. 
more. So now my lips are moisturized. So now the makeup-y part starts. This is this Grande Lash Brow. It's a serum. I use it kind of like, even though you're just supposed to use it at night. I mean, I do it at night too, but I also like to kind of brush up my brows a little bit with it without having to do too much pencil. I kind of use it to sort of position up the brows a little bit, and it's a serum that helps them grow, so. Then I put a tubing mascara on. This one is Thrive. Go at the base. It's a tubular mascara, because I'm not really good about taking my mascara off with an oil base. So I try to keep them separate so it looks a little bit like they're natural. So I start with the top base out and then I try to separate them just a little bit by getting all of the tippy 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 part of the lash. <laughs> I have to be careful because my lashes have gotten longer and then when I look up, sometimes it leaves a residue on the top so I have to blow them first. And then I just look straight and I just hit the, I hit the tip of the bottom lashes. My eyes get really, really red. Whether I've had sleep, haven't had sleep, been drinking, haven't been drinking, exercise, haven't exercised, doesn't matter what it is. My lips are moisturized at the beginning. Then I line, it's a Jones Road lip liner. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't see. It's probably rose something, but. Now that I'm older, I have to go to the outside of my lip because my lips have gotten thinner. Again, I love the parts of your body that get thinner where the other ones get bigger. I try to go the outside of the bottom without looking too forced. And then I color it in just a little bit. Then I get to apply more of the moisture. I sometimes just use my nail like that, put it on, then go like this. And I use mostly in the center. Kind of plumps them up a little bit. Looks kind of natural. The last thing I do, because I can't live without Lumify, which is a crazy, amazing product. I wish I invented it. So this is a little trick I learned. Oh God, in the 80s. I'm sure when you're doing this in the 80s, if you're in the bathroom, you probably would get, in, or probably not get in trouble, but they would think something of you. Oops, sorry. Yep, there we go. So what you do is a little drop, and then you go, on the side and it sucks it into the tear duct. In a moment, my eyes will be very, very clear. And that's, uh, that's what I do. This is my finished look. Thank you, Alora, for watching my 10 minute beauty routine.